tardes a todos. Hey everyone. And welcome to another day on the vlog. Okay, so today is Monday, hoy es lunes. And yesterday um, was Easter. And at church, it was really sweet. We had a good amount of newcomers. There were two folks from LA that were visiting and um, wanted to stop by church for Easter. And turns out that they're also creatives and also in the YouTube space and the art space, really cool people said that they would be down to meet up to get some coffee and chat more about YouTube and just exchange ideas and tips. So that is what I'm about to head out to do. Um, me and Yemi are gonna meet up with them at a cafe. And I'm just gonna pick their brains and um, just talk about all things creative. So I'm really excited for that. So I'll check in later. Okay, I'm here with Yemi, but our new friends. New friends, hey. Oh my, okay, so we have Preston Goes here on YouTube. Please go and subscribe. And then we have Katie Summerow. She's an artist. Her pieces wife. are beautiful. How beautiful. Oh my gosh. I know. Wow. We just had the sweetest conversation with them for the past two hours. Picking their brain, learning about their story, and they're the sweetest people ever. Thank you so much. Can I say something to the vlog? Of Can course. I have the camera? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. If, you're, if you're not subscribed to this woman, subscribe right now. Please. Please, please subscribe. She's so great. Like, why would you want to subscribe? Okay. Bye. See ya. <laughs> okay. I'll check in later. Bye. El mismo objeto es el que realiza la acción y es el mismo que realiza la acción. Es un verbo reflexivo. Pero, ¿qué pasa cuando yo hago la acción pero alguien más la recibe? Si yo digo, I like him. ¿Cómo lo traduzco? Ah, sí, cilantro y cebolla. Gracias. ¿Sí? This right here, you guys, is my standard taco order. You have to get some suadero or bistec, as well as some campechano, okay? It's like you need you need like some, you know, classic and then you need some that's a little party in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? And cannot forget the lime and the salsa verde. You have to be careful with the salsa verde because it is really spicy, um, at least from the like the, the taco guys that we go to. So you really have to just put like drops on drops. Otherwise your mouth will be on fire. I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that this is actually my third night in a row going to get tacos and I just I just haven't been in the mood to cook you know and like this is easy and it's a well-balanced meal you know you have your protein but you also have you know some carb you know what I'm saying and then the cebolla the cilantro that's that's your vegetable you know what I'm saying it's a well-balanced meal so and Yemi has been traveling for the past few days so it's just been me and I'm like well, I don't want to cook I don't want to cook so it's been tacos for the past three nights and I'm embarrassed to say that, but I have no regrets because they've been treating me really, really right. So you guys, um, oh, mm. oh wow. They did something there. Wow, they did something there for sure. It's really nice and juicy. Okay. You guys, tell me why, like 30 minutes ago, an hour ago, I get an uh, email. This is your schedule for your fitting tomorrow. Okay, wait, I didn't even, hold on. I'm jumping, I'm jumping again. So if you guys watched my last video, you know that I ended up getting booked for the commercial, which I'm really, really, really excited about. This is gonna be my first commercial and um, Granted, I'm not like the primary or even the secondary role, like I might very well be um, just an extra in the back or just like a slightly 
doing slightly more than an extra, but I am still really excited for the opportunity and I am just ready to experience my hair and makeup moment, you know, be on set. I don't know, we'll see, but I am really excited for it. Um, and the project I told you that they, it's for like mothers, right? Which I'm now starting to think it has to do with Mother's Day coming up next month. But the email that I just got, it said it was for meta moms. Like I'm like meta moms, like, is this for Facebook? Like stop playing. Like, is this for Facebook? Just say that, just say that. They've been calling the project Madre this whole time. And I'm like, if I'm about to be in a Facebook commercial, you need to let me know right now, okay, right now, because I've been looking so crazy and I really need to, uh, I really need to get it together. But she said, she's, she emailed me and she said my fitting for clothing and everything is tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'm like, tomorrow? Tomorrow is Sunday. I have church at 11 a.m. You know what I'm saying? And like, it's always like this. It's always been like this you know, in my short journey of being in this like entertainment space, they don't give enough notice. I'm like, I have not received more than an 18 hour, definitely not a 24 hour notice for a callback or for um, now a fitting, you know? And I'm like, you guys, I need to, I need to plan my schedule. I need to know what I'm doing. Um, so now I'm unfortunately gonna have to miss church tomorrow, but, I am excited to um, take you guys along on this, you know, my first fitting, my first commercial, like I'm really excited. And I thought the filming of the commercial was gonna be on Wednesday. So I thought I was gonna be able to put it in this week's vlog, but they moved the filming to Thursday. So it'll either be in like a bonus vlog going up next week or in next week's vlog, so. Stay tuned for that, but you'll definitely be seeing the fitting tomorrow um, in this vlog. So I'm really excited for that. Um, they gave me some ideas of the clothes I should wear, like show up in. And I'm like, I don't, like I thought the fitting, the whole purpose of the fitting was to like get fitted for the clothes that y'all are going to give me, you know, but I'm just going to wear, I'm just going to try to wear like basic, a basic outfit. And then maybe they'll build on top of that or I don't know, but yeah anyway that's tomorrow that's tomorrow i'm super excited and i guess i'll pick back up when we're on our way to the fitting he will never fail i trust in god all right <laughs> good morning y'all starting off the morning feeling really really grateful to the lord because he is good always Wow, this mirror is really dirty. Anyways, I'm about to head out to the fitting. This is the outfit of the day. Um, I'm sure we're all really sick of seeing these pants, but they're super comfortable. And they said uh, casual urban streetwear. And I was like, okay, like, like that's it, that's it. Um, and I don't know if they expected me to bring my own clothes. So I just bought a couple items um, that fit the description of what they said and I'm anticipating that they'll also give me clothes to try on too, but we'll see this, like this first time um, journey is so exciting. And I think they actually might be a little bit strict about filming. I don't know, but we'll see. So I'm gonna try to film as much of it as I can. I really hope I can film a good amount of it, especially today, you know, for just the fitting, but you guys, I'm so excited. I have to order my Uber and then we'll be on the way. Ah! Okay, I'll check in later. guys i'm here with charlotte Brittany, and claudia right and claudia and francia oh hi <laughs> and we're all waiting for our fitting well two of them have already finished and charlotte and i are still waiting but 
it's really nice to meet them and we're all just talking about how it's kind of our first experiences but kind of not really and trying to make it but who's that girl oh who is that girl? thank you i appreciate it Look so I did my fitting. I tried on three different outfits and now basically I just have to wait for the producers or directors to approve of the outfits. Um, so I ran to get a scoop of ice cream because I was waiting for two hours before the fitting and I've seen that like a couple other people have had to go in and try in three other outfits. So we'll see, but it's hectic in here. It's really hectic in here, but it's really exciting and getting to talk to other people that are in this space as well, pick their brains and just experience this for the first time. It's been really fun, but this is looking like a huge production. Like you can see a truck over here. There's trucks right here and then all along that street over there. So, I mean, for being a uh, Facebook, like I, I imagine so. And Brittany, the girl that you met earlier in the video she actually got flewed out from LA so I'm like wow I'm so happy for her and she's gonna be one of the main characters so yeah it's fun it's fun I'm gonna go sit eat my ice cream and wait to see if I need to try on three more outfits or not so I'll let you guys know You guys, I probably look so crazy because they had me taking on and off like different shirts. Oh, here goes more of the production. Wow, that's crazy. But I just finished and right after I bought my sandwich, they were like, oh, we have catering. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why did you guys say that earlier? So they took me to the back and they had like rice and meat and soup and it was really good. And I just love how I've met so many people today, like from different parts of the world, from London, from LA, from China. It's been so sweet. and. Um, so I'm gonna come back on Thursday to actually do my filming and it's probably gonna be a 12 hour day, but I'm kind of ready for it. Like I'm gonna bring my book and I'm really just ready for the experience. I'll let you guys know if I do anything else today. Otherwise, I will check back in later, bye. I was actually looking like evening right now because today is April 8th, 2024. Today is the day of the solar eclipse and it is getting dark here and it's only 12.30 p.m. And I think it's gonna reach like the full um, totality here, like full darkness here around 1 or 1.30. So yeah, just just waiting for that but i tuned in online and i watched it from mazatlan mexico so that was really cool i figured that this is the perfect time to check in about our verse of the week okay you already know what time it is all right so last week's verse was jeremiah 29 verse 13 and it says you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart I feel like that one was, it was like a pretty short and sweet one, pretty easy. So hopefully we all have that stored really close and um, pull that out of the archives whenever we need it. But this week's verse, I was praying about it and I was asking God, like what, what verse would you like me to encourage your people with? And he really highlighted Hebrews chapter 11, verse eight to me. No, no, sorry, Hebrews 11, verse six. And this is the verse that says, and without faith, it is impossible to please God 
For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. And I feel like, I feel like in, you know, reading over this verse this time around, I feel like God is really just wanting to remind us that our relationship with him is not going to be one that, you know, we understand everything and we have the answers to everything, you know, like it's really going to take faith sometimes and faith this is what it says i love the bible because it really gives you like you'll have questions but it gives you the answer to everything you need okay this is what it says in chapter 11 verse 1 now faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen okay and then in verse 3 it says like for example by faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of god so that what is seen was was not made out of things that are visible okay so like not every time is it going to be things that we can see uh, with God, but sometimes he'll require us to just believe that he can do it, even though it doesn't look like it, you know, and believe that he is able, even when our situation is telling us the opposite, you know, and God has really shown me time and time again over my life that when I step out in faith, trusting him, like tr believing that he is able to do something, he will always show up for me 110%. Like, it's almost as if he is like, I'm, I cannot let my girl be embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? Because she believes in me. So I have to come through for her and I have to, you know, show like show out for her. And um, yeah, I just feel like God is really just calling us to have faith and to trust that he is able to do like the things that we can't even imagine seeing with our eyes like we have to close our eyes to be able to dream and visualize the things that god is able to do and even then he's able to do more you know what i'm saying so that is going to be our verse of the week i think it's a really a really good one to refer back to often and i'll read it again for us um hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 and without faith it is impossible to please god for whoever would draw near to god must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. So, happy memorizing this week. I am getting ready to head out to dance practice pretty soon here, but I definitely am excited to see the solar, the solar eclipse in its, you know, in its totality. And if I don't pick back up today, I have a really exciting day planned for tomorrow. So I will check in later. Bye. Hola amigas, como están? Buenos días. It's the next day. So I love how I am now like being introduced to just how the locals speak, you know, which is what you would expect living here. But everybody in my dance team, they're always saying oli, oli. So I guess that's like an informal way to say hola. And then I learned that if you're addressing a mixed group, I thought a mixed group of guys and girls i thought you always use amigos right but it just feels weird like addressing women as amigos so you can say amigues so oli amigues <laughs> como están so you guys today is tuesday and i am i decided that i am gonna take myself out on a really cute date around the city because i feel like i started to get into a like a pattern like you know i'm getting into my routine but i feel like i'm already starting to um lose my my touristy uh what do you call i'm starting to stop being a tourist in the city and i don't want to do that because i know there's there's still so much of it to see and so i I am determined to continue exploring, continue exploring, and I know that there's areas like Centro, Coyoacan, and you know, just so many areas that I haven't explored yet. And so today I'm like, you know what, you need to, you need to get ready and you need to go and explore the city. So I'm gonna have a cute little solo date. It's been a while since I have. Um, done this like aside from just going to a cafe to work you know so i am really excited for it 
and today I'm actually going to be spending time in the Polanco area since I haven't spent too much time there and I know people will say you know that's like the bougie area of Mexico City and um, I've seen a little bit of it but not too much so I want to go and just spend some time there today try out a couple of restaurants or cafes go to a museum um, yeah that is the plan for today I'm really really excited because the sun is not out right now and I love that because I, I decided I'm going to walk there and it's over an hour walk which I haven't done one of my long walks in a while so I'm really excited for it but I didn't want to sweat you know like if I haven't said it before my sweat glands are so hyperactive and I just sweat so much it's a problem it's actually a problem but I'm really glad that the um the weather is in my favor today so yeah I'm just getting ready here and I'm about to um go to my first stop of the day which is going to be a, a restaurant for breakfast where I'm going to get some breakfast I heard that they have really good chilaquiles with arechera and I'm like what stop like stop I feel like I might become a chilaquiles connoisseur in the city like and it's just crazy that I I never had chilaquiles before moving here. But now I'm like, I'm about to become an expert. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to take you guys along on this day. This cute little solo date that I'm going to have today. And we're going to explore more of the city together. So I will check in when we are on our way to breakfast. <laughs> to Chapultepec Park and I absolutely love walking through this area. It's so lush, so green and really peaceful. Um, so I'm gonna do a little detour through the park and continue on with my journey. Okay, you guys, so I absolutely enjoyed every single bit of that walk. It was just so peaceful, and I think getting out on a weekday definitely helps with the crowded crowdedness and the busyness. So I really loved it, and I made it to my first stop of the day, which is a restaurant called Ivoire. Ivoire, I think. It's a French restaurant, and I was expecting it to be kind of busy today, but again, it's a weekday, so... I got seated on the terrace on the second floor and it's really giving vibes like it's really giving vibes it's super cute and I ordered the chilaquiles con arachera and a matcha latte so I'm really excited to try them and like this day is really starting off on the right foot I'm really loving it guys I'm giving Ivoire a, a 9 out of 10 <clears throat> the ambiance was great the chilaquiles I was a little skeptical at first because the presentation was a little bit messy you know what I'm saying but they really made up for it with the flavors the arechera was so juicy and soft like I feel like those actually might be better than the um chilaquiles, the chilaquiles I got at uh, Mandalina with the chicharron man 
so good and i highly recommend going on a weekday i went around 12 30 and the top terrace was empty but when i was getting ready to leave there were um more people coming in so just keep that in mind and now my next stop is a museum i'm gonna go check out museo humex today and it's about a 30 minute walk from here so i'm just continuing to enjoy like this beautiful day you guys honestly is so beautiful it's so beautiful i'm really loving it and i brought my kindle so i'm probably gonna find a park to sit in and read a book a little later but first the museum so i'll see you guys there actually you guys i have to say polanco is really really bougie like i'm sitting in front of these restaurants that look so fancy i looked them up they have like they have really good reviews um you can't really see that one but many dollar signs it says a thousand plus pesos i'm like oh my gosh so i'm definitely i'm definitely an imposter in this uh part of town but i really enjoy the bougie vibes and hopefully one day god willing please lord um the bank account will allow me to come and eat at one of these restaurants because they look really good so i am i'm loving this day okay i'll check in later You guys look at this sculpture that greets us right at the entrance of the museum like that's pretty cool and i actually i mean i knew that they were close by but i didn't know it was like right across from the sumaya museum so i don't know if i'll have enough time to go to both today but if i do i'm definitely gonna try to check them out because i heard sumaya is free and i'm hoping humex is free too so we're just gonna see you know we're just playing it by ear we're just going with the vibes today so i'm gonna try to um get my admission ticket to humex and then i will show you guys what it's looking like inside I just finished at the Humex Museum and it was pretty cool. I would highly recommend. And I really just appreciate how the museums, I mean, not all of them, but a good amount of them are free for entry. And you can just go in, enjoy the art and leave. Like, I appreciate that. I did not want to have to pay 30 bucks to be able to see that museum. You know what I'm saying? So I really enjoyed it, would definitely recommend. And now I think I have some time. So I'm gonna to try to get into Sumaya and see what's going on in there as well and i'm getting kind of hungry so i feel like i'm gonna need like a pastry or a dessert or a snack very soon so stay tuned i'll keep you guys updated day of museums complete now I'm feeling a little bit hungry definitely could use a snack or some ice cream and I also need to find a place to charge my phone because I actually have a meeting in, in 45 minutes or so um, a recruiter reached out to me and was like he has a engineering opportunity he wants to talk to me about and I'm like Honestly, like that part of my brain has completely been turned off for the past couple months. So I don't even, 
I don't even know what to expect, but I told him I'm only considering remote opportunities and he still wants to chat. So I need to find a place to charge my phone before it dies. Hopefully I can also get a scoop of ice cream or something. And then I don't even know what else I want to do today. I think the last thing might be just sit in the park, read my Kindle for a little bit, and then I'll plan to walk back home or take an Uber because my legs, my legs are kind of tired. So I will let you guys know when I find a cafe to grab a snack. This is exactly what I needed right now. God bless. Alright y'all, I just finished my call with the recruiter and honestly it went it went pretty good. At first I was just hearing him out, hearing more about the position, and he was asking me what my salary expectations are and everything, and I was like, I have to be really fully honest and transparent. I am no longer in the Bay Area. I now live in Mexico City. And surprisingly he didn't like shut it down right away. He was still like, Okay, I'll ask some questions and I'll get back to you. So honestly, we'll see how it goes. I have no idea, but I thought that was really cool that he reached out and we'll see if something comes of it. So I just finished eating and having the call and I think I'm still going to walk to a park that I've been wanting to check out and sit for a little bit, read my Kindle, and then walk to an ice cream shop and then it will be it will finally be time to go home so it's been a full day but it's been a beautiful solo date i've had such a good time i'm really really enjoying it so i'm about to head over to the park cookies and cream which is pretty basic but it has the right amount of chunk in it like it's so good I highly recommend mm. so creamy mm. wow you guys you know you were a tourist for the day when you hit 22,000 steps like your girl is tired she's very tired but that was definitely mission accomplished. Uh, that was the whole goal to really just be a tourist again in the city, you know, and not get too comfortable like as I live here for longer. So I definitely feel like I know Polanco a lot better and I'm excited to explore the other parts of the city as well. Uh, there's so many, there's so many different areas. So stay tuned for future solo dates where I go and explore more areas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming along with me on it. And um, you already know where I went tonight. I went to get more tacos. Yep, that makes it four nights this week that I've had tacos. But again, it's easy and like when in Mexico, right? So I'm about to shower and eat that and call it a night. I feel like I'm gonna sleep so well tonight. And I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here, actually. You guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film as much 
uh, as I thought on the day of filming for the commercial because I feel like they're they're trying to keep it pretty under wraps don't want to have any spoilers so you know the most I'll probably be able to film is during hair and makeup so uh, I might just make a YouTube short about it and I'll update you guys on how it went in the next vlog so stay tuned thank you again so much if you stuck around to the end i really appreciate you and i will see you guys next week hope you have a beautiful weekend ahead and a great week honestly bye checking in as i just finished editing this vlog so i got an email while i was uh eating at tortas al fuego earlier <sighs> this mosquito really wants to fight anyways I got an email while I was eating at Tortas al Fuego earlier that um, there's a potential that I might get updated or upgraded to like one of the primary characters in the commercial and I'm like stop playing with me like stop playing with me so I don't know it's not confirmed yet but I just got my call time and it's at 5 40 a.m like I need to be at the location at 5 40 a.m I'm like that's crazy and then they're gonna uh drive us to um the filming spot so this is so exciting oh my gosh i really don't know what how how you guys are gonna see any part of the commercial but ah, i'm so excited anyways just wanted to update you guys with that okay 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 officially bye